We show up in the party <laughs> Hey guys, that's one of the game. Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you two things are in one. Uh, basically, what you can understand from the title, perhaps, um, it's a kind of a double tutorial. Uh, first of all, you're going to learn how to smoothen your character and what the subdivision surface modifier does, and that's basically the same thing because th these are two questions, and each question is the answer to the other one. If you know what I mean, because Subdivision surface, what the subdivision surface modifier does is it uh, smoothens your character and how to smoothen your character subdivision surface modifier is a very quick way to do this uh, so yeah the subdivision surface modifier basically adds actually it works in, on any mess anyway it adds vertices to your low poly mess uh, but I'm, I keep saying character because I'm going to be using a, a low poly character we created in the past in the last tutorial I made with blender and uh, yeah basically that let's go okay so uh, blender uh, has opened yeah now let's go uh, okay now let me just append our character <sighs> okay uh, that this is our character and now let's just go and work with it and now you can see that it's uh, a pretty okay character I guess it's a low poly character anyway uh, the only drawback is that it looks kind of chunky and if you want it like say put it in your game you wouldn't want to do that because it's too chunky to be in a game it's it's not smooth enough so let's move it out the subdivision surface modifier not only adds kind of uh so yeah uh yeah, not only adds uh extra vertices it also changes the shape kind of rounds it uh you make it makes it m more round a little bit that's not a bad thing that's a good thing it saves you a ton of time yeah let's go uh so okay first of all click on your mesh and just go to the modifier tab add modifier and then over here subdivision surface modifier yep okay you can see that instantly when we when we add it, uh, the the entire mesh just becomes a lot more smooth and a lot smoother. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so when you apply the subdivision, the you add the subdivision surface modifier, you the first thing you're probably going to see is the levels viewport and the render and the render levels and optimal display. Just click on optimal display; it doesn't hurt you anyway. Um, the render so the levels viewport, as you can see, as I increase it. Uh, as you increase the the levels of the viewport, your mesh will become more. We will become smoother, as you can see now. So the viewport is how you see it as you're editing, animating, modeling, everything. Uh, that brings me to something else. You you generally want to apply your subdivision surface modifier after you're done with kind of all the. The modeling sometimes so over here when you when you make a low poly character you usually make the low poly character like i did in the past tutorial and then add the subdivision mod surface modifier like we are doing now some in some cases that's not how you do it okay so uh the render uh, levels is basically when you apply the subdivision surface modifier and then render an animation an image whatever this is how it's going to look okay so you can usually want to um set the render to a higher rate to a higher value than the levels viewport because uh you don't want your computer to lag if it's not kind of very powerful it's going to lag if the levels viewport is high but uh, obviously they're in the rendering process will take up more time but yeah uh you don't really need that much of value it i think it goes up to 11 don't do it don't set 11 or, or anything to the viewport because when i try to do it just blender just closed and i had to do everything all over again no actually i, I was I, actually doing something else that had really done nothing anyway um i like to set both of those to the same value though so that i i know that exactly as i see it it's going to be the same uh, I usually do two or three, but in this case, three, I think three is excessive, so I'm just going to work with two and two. Um, yeah, now, if we tap into, ed into edit mode, you can see this beautiful 
semi-transparent cage over here. It's pretty nice. If you uh, if you look closely, you will see that it's exactly the same as before we applied the subdivision surface modifier. So this is before and this is after. Uh, yeah, that it adds more vertices, but if you don't apply the subdivision surface modifier in object mode because here it won't work. Uh, so before you apply that, if you like take this vert over here or any vert and move it, not just uh, it's not the it's not going to be w from the final product so this the, the actual mesh not the cage it's not this is not going to be the only vert that's going to move obviously it takes up it takes the entire area with it if you can see so okay yeah uh, Apart from that, uh, you it, it looks kind of like proportional editing, if you know what it is, because I haven't talked uh, about it uh, in the channel, but I will, I promise. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, this cage looks nice, so basically it takes the whole area, yeah. Uh, this cage looks nice, but what if we wanted it to be, the, what if we wanted this, the, if you wanted high accuracy, high precision, and you just wanted to edit anything, if you had anything to edit in, um, and you want the vertices to stick onto the surface of our mesh, simply just go over here the subdivision surface modifiers properties and uh, click on on cage. This on cage uh, button is actually what's going to make it stick, and you can see that the vertices it, it's still the, oh obviously the vertices are the same. It has the same number of vertices before you apply the modifier, uh, and if we click on the on cage um, tool it still moves everything with it uh, so it, it, we still have this kind of proportional editing effect yeah uh, now I suggest that you and that's pretty cool but I suggest that you do all your uh, editing if you have anything to add or, or modify or something like if you want to adjust anything I suggest that you do it before applying the subdivision service modifier because look at it now and look at it right now i applied it and look at how much how how many vertices this is this is clearly a lot of, uh, a lot of vertices and you're going to literally bore yourselves to death trying to edit each one of these individually now like i said before you can just use the the proportional editing uh tool and that's going to be a smart way of dealing with things but why would you just go in all that trouble just edit it before and if you absolutely need to edit it after uh, and you have already applied it just go with it go for it but i don't really see the point uh because it, the, the other way is a much more efficient way just not having applied it and just work with l fewer vertices it's just easier this way i don't know why uh actually yeah i know why it's just simpler to work with less data anyway that was it for the subdivision service modifier. Uh, one last thing, obviously you can just click on your mess, right click it, say it's smooth and that's going to be, uh, that's going to make it even smoother. And that's basically what makes almost no difference if you, whether you just add more, ver like you have three in the viewport and three in the render in the value of the subdivision service modifier or two. That just really doesn't make much of a difference. Does make a small difference but it's not really worth it when considering that you're going to be working with a larger file size and much more time especially if this, this is just a character you don't really need that much detail i mean yeah um so anyway that was it for the subdivision service modifier guys uh a lot more a lot more blender tutorials are going to be on their way i really need to share with you some of blender's secrets they're not really secrets they're just tools modifiers whatever uh simple for, from beginners to advanced level from beginner level from the beginner level to the advanced level there is a ton of things that i honestly didn't know until recently in blender and i've been using it for one for one and a half year about one and a half year actually i think exactly that or, or anyway uh and I'm ashamed to admit that I, I, some of those things I just didn't know and just kept wondering how all those people create such, such, such ergonomic messes and I couldn't. That was honestly, that made me furious and just I just 
randomly found out about stuff and I just want you to you guys to know as fast as I as I can teach you but those tutorials are probably going to be uh, coming out in a while and they're not going to be coming out effective immediately so yeah anyway uh, be sure to check out our channel when those tutorials come out uh, because you can always hit the subscribe button if you want I mean hey, okay uh, and um, that's going to be good because you won't have to waste uh, years of your life of your lives to just try to become good in blender and waste and suck all this time like no I didn't, I didn't actually suck but you get the point uh, I mean it's not very good anyway see you next time goodbye what a beautiful day to relax and watch astronauts videos